The U.S. Open has always been as much of a test of the mind as the body. But if your mind is not ready for the first tee shot here at Torrey Pines, well, you would be better off at one of San Diego's fine beaches. There are scoring opportunities on the front nine, but only after you've navigated the treacherous first. The tee shot plays into the ocean breeze with a new bunker on the inside of the dog leg that makes accuracy more important off the tee. It was the hardest fairway to hit in 2008. Less than half the field accomplished that feat. The challenge continues with the approach. The green is guarded by bunkers and the drop off behind the green makes scrambling difficult. Number one played as the third hardest hole in the 2008 US Open. The hole allowed 32 birdies, the second fewest among par fours and fives. Success on the first can start your round with confidence or immediately test your resilience. In most rounds at Torrey, the sixth hole is there to lift your spirits. It's a generally downwind par five, but once again, it will be converted to a par four for this championship. But the strategy remains the same. Hug the right side of the fairway, or better yet, fly that tree for your advantage. The sixth had a nearly identical scoring average for this championship in 2008 as the yearly tour stop, despite playing to a shorter distance. But as a par four, six became the second hardest hole in 2008 in relation to par. Failing to find the fairway accounts for all of the difference between its scoring average and its par. The cost of rough on six was larger than any other hole. The golf course will not look much different to players who are familiar with Torrey Pines. But the outlook created by the mental test that is a U.S. Open will be a sea change. Answering the challenges on one and six will go a long way to solving the riddle of this championship.